Hello and welcome to Mootopia MMIV. This is my review of the Don's game at Colchester on Saturday. Let's get cracking. Both teams go into this game following disappointing results on the opening day. With Don's losing 2-1 at home to Bradford and Colchester getting serviced by AFC 4-2 in Mordor. But Colchester did bounce back in the Carabao with 4-3 win on penalties after drawing 2-2 with Reading. Whilst Dons may as well have just not turned up to Watford, where we were violated 5-0. The last game at Colchester for Dons saw a very late goal take all three points after Colchester had at one point looked nailed on for the win when Luton Town loanee Joseph Taylor brought them back from 1-0 down to t lead 2-1 until Super Alex Gilby equalised on 88 minutes and Matt Dennis scored on the 100th minute winner. But both sides are very different this season and Colchester have made some very good signings for League 2. The big ones being former AFC player Lyle Taylor and of course former Don player Tom Flanagan and last season's massively impressive loanee Jack Payne. Dons have played Colchester 24 times, winning 14 times, drawing 6 and only losing 4 times. The last 5 encounters have seen Dons win 3 and Colchester 3. And it's the same story with the last 5 games at Colchester, where there's never been a drawn game between the two sides at Colchester. And in the 24 games they've played, there have only been one game where neither team has scored. Despite shipping 4 goals on the opening weekend, Colchester did have a, the better possession stats, but that's where a good news ends for United fans. Because of their f seven shots, only three weren't blocked by the defence or off target. However, they were at 1.2 nil up, and obviously score with two of their shots on target. Jack Payne appears to be in excellent form, assisting both goals against AFC and scores a penalty to put them 2 nil up against Reading. Dons will be hoping to put a stop at Colchester taking early leads, especially given how difficult we found scoring against Bradford after going 2-0 down so early. But given that Colchester appeared to give goals away, Dons will be hoping that after hitting 14 shots with 5 to on target Bradford, against Bradford and of course only losing a well, to a worldie of very unfortunate mishit attempts clearance by Don's own Sam Sharing. Don's will think that they are more than stand a chance against League 2 opposition following the humbling that of at the hands of Championship Watford on Tuesday but Don's also completely dominated possession against Bradford with nearly 69% and the major concern will be that Wern's inability to hit the target and Hendry getting multiple opportunities but failing to find the net but Hendry also provided the assist for Gilby's goal to make it 2-1. Well, it's prediction time, and it's going to be a bit difficult for me to predict this one because I'm not sure if the team would have recovered from the battering or if, they're still, if they've still got it on their minds. But I'm still hopeful, and I'm going to go for 3-0 to the Dons. That's what I think. Let me know your predictions in the comments. Give us a, the video if a like if you enjoyed it. Follow us on X, Instagram, and Threads. Thanks for watching, and come on, you Dons!